Hey chefs, I'm Shade. And I'm Chris. And, and today, today we're going, going back, back to the basics. basics. I don't know about y'all, but there's nothing better than some homemade nachos. I agree, but enough talking. Let's show them how to make the best simple nachos. Before anything, you want to always make sure your hands are clean. But now all I'm going to do is put the meat in a medium high heat pan. You want to always cook your meat first since it takes the longest to cook. Once the fat from the meat starts to melt, that's when you know you can start seasoning. So I'm just going to use a half a teaspoon of seasoning salt, a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a whole, pot, a whole packet of taco seasoning. Now you just wanna mix the seasoning together until it's all incorporated. Okay, so the meat should take about seven to 10 minutes to cook or until it reaches 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Now let's go to Chris to see what he's doing. Hey chef, since Shada is done cooking the meat, I'm going to start preparing the toppings. So what I'm gonna do is cut up all the produce and start making the pico de gallo. We're gonna start with one tomato and we're gonna dice it up. I'm going to dice up the bell pepper, the onion, and the jalapeno the same way I did to the tomatoes. And I'll come to you guys when I'm done. Since I'm done cutting up all the pico, I just need to add a few limes and add a tablespoon of salt. And that will be all for the toppings. Now that everything's prepared, let's start constructing these nachos. So now I'm just gonna add a layer of tortilla chips down. So now that the tortilla chips are down, I'm just gonna sprinkle the ground beef on top. You just wanna make sure you cover most of the tortilla chips with the ground beef. And then we're gonna add some mixed cheese. I'm gonna add a lot because I like my nachos cheesy. Okay, so now we're gonna take this to the microwave to melt the cheese. So now that the nachos are off the microwave, we're gonna start adding our toppings. The good thing about nachos, they're very customizable, so you just make it to your liking. But me, I like lettuce. Then I'm gonna add some pico. And some avocado on top. And something about me, I love sour cream, so I'm just gonna add a whole bunch of sour cream. Now these delicious nachos are done. They're looking so good. They are. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for coming back to the basics with us. Make sure you like and subscribe. And don't forget to comment some food ideas down below. Bye, Bye chefs. chefs.